And in this video, I will show you how to reset YouTube on your smart TV. So if the YouTube application on your TV is not opening at all, or the app keeps crashing, or it doesn't even play any video when you try to open any video at all, or you just have some error messages popping up whenever you try to play any video or open the YouTube application. In this video, I will show you three ways that you can solve any of these errors on your YouTube application by resetting the YouTube application. Now, for you to do this, what you want to do is to basically go to the left hand side bar on your TV. So this bar over here, you just want to scroll left until you get to this bar and then you want to scroll down until you get to the settings section here. You can basically see that over here. Now you want to click on OK. And then what you want to do is to basically scroll down until you get to the reset app option. Now you can basically see the reset app option over here. And what you want to do is to go ahead and click on reset app like so. And from here, once you click on the reset app, you're going to be asked whether you really want to reset your YouTube application or not. What you want to do is to go ahead and reset the application on your TV. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and try opening the YouTube application on your TV again and see whether it works or not. Another way for you to reset YouTube on your smart TV, if it is not even opening at all, for you to even try the first option I mentioned, then what you want to do is to basically uninstall the YouTube application from your smart TV. Now, for you to do this, what you want to do is to go to the app store like so, and you're going to see the YouTube application on the list of applications that are installed on your TV. Now, what you want to do is to go ahead and uninstall the YouTube application on your TV and then reinstall the YouTube application on your TV. Now, after you must have done that, you want to go ahead and open the YouTube application and then see whether it works on your TV or not. Trust me, this is actually one of the surest ways to fix any YouTube error on your smart TV. Now, lastly, if the other option did not work out for you, what you want to do is to clear the YouTube cache on your smart TV, which is actually another way of restarting the YouTube application without actually using the YouTube app. So what you want to do is to basically scroll to the settings of your smart TV. Now, it doesn't really matter the TV you're using, just go to the settings um, section. And what you want to do is to look for the application section. Now, in my case, the application settings is found under the system settings. So what I want to do is to go to the system settings and then scroll down until I get to application settings like so. And what you want to do is to go ahead and clear the cache of the YouTube app on the application settings. Now, in my case, by clearing this cache, I am actually clearing the cache of all the streaming platforms. So in your case, you can go ahead and just clear the cache of just the YouTube application. So what you want to do is to basically go ahead and click on clear cache and you're going to be asked whether you want to go ahead and clear the cache. So it is basically you restarting the YouTube application. You can basically see what it says there. So what you want to do is to go ahead and click on clear. Now, once you do that, it's just going to take some minutes and you can now go ahead and open the YouTube application on your smart TV. Now try and see if it works and if it works well for you, then you are good to go. The final solution I will be preferring to you in this particular video is for you to check your internet connection and to restart your TV. Now, for you to do this, you just have to check your internet connection. Be sure that you actually have internet connection on your Wi-Fi or your hotspot, as the case may be. And then you want to go ahead and restart your TV. Now, by restarting your TV, I don't mean you should turn off the TV with the remote control. Just go to the wall socket where the TV is plugged, unplug it, and wait for about 30 minutes. Then go ahead and plug back the TV to the wall socket. Trust me, majority of the time, this actually fixes the issue. So you want to go ahead and unplug the TV and if it works, then you're good to go. That will be all on today's video, guys. If this video was helpful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one.